Hi, I'm musician first class Bobby Barron with the United States Navy Band. Today I wanted to take a couple minutes with you to help you get started in learning how to play your euphonium. So the euphonium is a wonderful brass instrument. It's part of the low brass family in the band. And I hope that today's lesson gives you some things to think about and gets you excited to learn more about the horn. So the first thing we're going to do whenever we're playing our instrument is going to be putting it together. So assembly for us euphonium players is pretty easy. We have just our horn and we have our mouthpiece. So what we're going to do is take our mouthpiece and slide it into the lead pipe. The lead pipe is the tube that's coming off the side of the horn. Once the mouthpiece is in the lead pipe, we're going to turn it just a little bit to the right or the left. We want to make sure that if we move our horn around, that the mouthpiece doesn't get loose and fall out. When you do that little tightening motion, make sure that you don't push too hard or twist too much because we want to make sure that you don't get the mouthpiece stuck in the lead pipe. Now, once we've put our horn together, the next important aspect of our playing is going to be posture. This is going to be important for any instrument and especially for us euphonium players because the horn is a little bit heavy and can present some unique challenges. Now, whenever we're sitting down, we want to make sure that our feet are gonna be both flat on the ground and that we're not crossing our legs or our feet. We wanna make sure that whether we're sitting or standing, that our feet are about shoulder width apart for the most comfortable way to play the horn. We're going to make sure that we want to sit up nice and straight, nice and tall, and we want to keep our shoulders back. We don't want to get tense or let our shoulders creep up toward our ears. We want to just be ready to stay relaxed and be able to take in a nice deep breath when we're ready. Now I'm going to slide back and show you a little bit about the horn positioning and talk you through the way that we're going to bring the horn to us. Now the most important aspect of playing the horn is to remember that the horn comes to us and that we as the player are not going to come to the horn. So the euphonium is a little bit on the heavy side and for some of you younger students, it may be a little bit tough to lift up and down all the time. So what you can do is have a small pillow or a towel that you can put on your left leg and that will allow you to put the horn on top of it. What we want to be focused for as euphonium players is that the bottom of the horn is on the left side of our body and the top of the horn is going to be on our right. We want to make sure that we don't let the horn slip down and become horizontal, but rather we want to keep it nice and upright. And most importantly, we want to bring the mouthpiece directly to our mouth. So whether you use the pillow or not, your posture and your positioning are all about bringing the horn to you and having the mouthpiece come directly toward your mouth. Now, whether you're sitting down like I am now or standing up, the positioning and the posture that you have does not change. So aside from a fun exercise, it's showing that whether we're sitting down as we would be if we were playing in concert band, or perhaps standing as we would be if we were in marching band, that your posture and your holding of the horn never changes to allow you to stay consistent and play your best at all times. Now that we've put our horn together and we've worked on our posture, we're ready to think about the most important aspect of our playing. That's going to be our air and our breathing. So whenever we're playing the horn, I want you to take a deep breath in and blow it right back out, similar to how you'd feel if you were blowing out candles on a birthday cake. So we're gonna take a nice deep breath in and blow it out. And that's something you can practice doing even without the instrument, to learn and train your body to take deeper breaths than you might normally take. Remember that the horn needs as much air as you can possibly give it, so practicing your breathing is going to be an important aspect of your playing. The next thing that you're going to think about once you've gotten your horn in the right position and you've taken those deep breaths and you're ready to play is going to be your embouchure. That's going to be how your mouth is positioned and ready to play the horn and create the buzz that will be the sound that comes out of the instrument. So we as brass players are going to buzz our lips together, 
which is creating a vibration that will then create the sound. So we can kind of think of this as buzzing our lips and we don't need to be too crazy about it. It'll normally come pretty naturally. You might find that this exercise is gonna tickle your nose if you haven't done it before, but this is the basis for all of your playing. So we're gonna take that nice deep breath in and we're gonna think about a couple things. Number one, not puffing our cheeks. Number two, making sure that our corners are nice and firm as if we are really thinking about something or focused, keeping those corners nice and firm. So no puffing in the cheeks, corners nice and firm, and now we're ready to buzz our lips. So let's give it a try. A deep breath in, remember, and nice air out. Now, again, it may feel a little bit silly off the instrument, but when you put that motion and that air together into the horn, your embouchure, your air, and your posture are gonna create the sound. So let's put all of those together and play some of our first notes. So for many of you, you're going to play one of two notes as your first. We're going to put down no valves on the horn, and we're going to either be playing an F or a low B flat. For some of you, maybe even a tuning B flat. I don't want you to be nervous or worried about which note comes out for you. And remember that different people are going to perhaps play other instruments before they've played the euphonium, or are gonna have an easier time with some notes versus others. The important part is that you're staying positive and excited and that you're getting whatever note you can play right away out. And I promise that in time, you'll learn the rest. So here we go. This is going to be a nice F. We're gonna, again, keep my feet flat on the ground. I have my mouthpiece coming toward my mouth without me bending over or chasing the horn. I'm gonna take that nice deep breath like I'm preparing to blow out my birthday candles. I'm not puffing my cheeks. My corners of my lips are nice and firm and I'm ready to buzz and play. Let's give it a shot. Now that was an F. Some of us might also find that we actually play a low B flat first. So let's listen to that note as well. Here is low B flat. There are lots of notes and lots of ranges on the horn, but that's going to be where you're going to start. It's going to help you get more comfortable and confident as you play. And I hope that you learn more and get excited about the potential you have for playing this instrument in the long run. Thank you so much for spending a couple minutes with me and best of luck on your playing.